Good morning, family. It's a brand new opportunity that God has given us today to read His Word and to meditate upon it. And today I'd like to share a devotional word with the men out there, the, the husbands that might be listening to this devotional. When it comes to our roles and our responsibilities as husbands, uh, Scripture is very clear. And like we said on Sunday, it's so important that as we serve as husbands in our family, that we do it in the way that pleases God. I think there's no husband in the world who'd like to be a bad husband. Uh, we all want to be the best husbands we can be. But in order to do that, it's it's not so important that we follow the example um, of, of the husbands that we see around us, because there are so many bad examples, but that we really go to the word of the Lord and that we submit ourselves to what God expects of us in the Bible. And this morning, I'd like to share with you uh, a scripture from 1 Peter chapter 3. Um, Adele made a mention of that scripture on Sunday when we spoke to the wives. But there's a very important uh, verse, verse 7, which actually speaks to the husbands, something very, very important. It says, husbands, in the same way, be considerate as you live with your wives and treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heirs with you of the gracious gift of life so that nothing will hinder your prayers. Now, it's interesting, the last part of the verse, did you catch that? So that nothing will hinder your prayers. It's the only place in the Bible where we really read that uh, when we do not do as God expects of us as husbands, that our prayers would be hindered. It's as if God would not respond or even listen to our prayers if we do not do what he expects of us as husbands. This is a very harsh word. But it, it is because we are called to represent Jesus, like we said on Sunday. We are supposed to be the example of Jesus to our families. And if we don't do that, you know, God doesn't respond to us because we are violating his image on earth. We are violating how people perceive Jesus when they look at us and we do not represent him well. And so the key in that scripture, it says, be considerate as you live with your wives. Another translation says, "Be do it intelligently and with wisdom and with understanding." So that means that we need to try and and look. We look look at our wives and we try to understand how best to serve them. Not that we would understand them necessarily. That is very difficult, and most husbands would agree that. But live with them with understanding, with consideration. Uh, look at them as the way God looks at us as the church. Jesus looks at us as a church. He tries to be understanding to what we are going through. And then he says, treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heir with you of the gracious gift of life. That means that we need to, and this, and this, the weaker partner doesn't mean weak in the sense of a bad weak, but it means delicate and fragile. And so we need to be responsible how we treat our wives. We need to treat them as fragile. And that means not saying the things to them that we, sh we shouldn't be saying. Um, making sure that every time we speak, we speak with respect and consideration because they are weaker than us in the sense that they are fragile. And we need to handle them with care. And then he says, as is with you of the gracious gift of life. That means partnership, that the God has a plan for like we said on Sunday, for my life, but it's not just for my life. It's for our lives as a family. And God wants that partnership. He wants to see us as husbands treat our wives as partners of his plan and his purposes. And so when we, we talk and we, and we connect with them and we listen to them, we do so seeing them as partners. That God has placed them and us with everything that we need to go forward and... and, and uh, fulfill the plans that he have for, has for us. And so we need to live that partnership with consideration, treating them as fragile, not hurting them, not saying the things we shouldn't be saying. Because if we do not do that, we just kind of abuse them. Because the opposite of this picture in seven, uh, verse 7 is a husband that verbally, physically, and emotionally abuses his wife. 
And God says that if you do that, live that way, your prayers will not be heard. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you that you give clear instructions to us as husbands. We ask, Lord, that you will help us to live the way you want us to live through the power of your Holy Spirit. Sometimes we are weak and we do things which we shouldn't. But we ask that you will forgive us when we haven't treated our wives with respect and with dignity. And we've maybe abused them in some kind of formal, formal way. Help us, Lord, to live with them the way you want us to do it. And be an example as, as Jesus would to the church, that we would treat our wives as you treat the church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And tomorrow I'll be speaking to the husbands again. Another word from the scriptures. Mm -hmm.